Okay, hiring a caterer. That's my idea of how to host a party. But before we delve any further into this wonderful world of food, let's get the skinny on what's really trending these days. Um, joining me now is uh, Teresa Farney from the Gazette. She's the food editor. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to have you. And um, talk to us about what's going on. I mean, there's a whole label for people mm -hmm. who um, know about food. I think it's called foodies. <laughs> foodies. Right. Well, some people don't like that very much. Oh, uh, I think it's... But I love it. And as a matter of fact, um, that's what I call myself on Twitter, TF Foodie. Oh, okay, so follow her on Twitter <laughs> at TF Foodie. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I, I'm always looking for followers, followers. and friends on Facebook. Good. And okay. All that. Well, I'll friend you and after or follow you after this. We'll, we'll follow <laughs> okay. each other. That sounds good. Oh, uh, I just love having more friends. Okay. But one of the things, speaking of social media, Twitter yeah. and Facebook, mm -hmm. that's certainly one of the things, a trend in the restaurant and hospitality business. Mm -hmm. For sure. Everybody, if they don't have that, they're kind of lost and lost. Really? Yeah. That's so interesting because but, I'm trying to think of who I follow on Twitter right now. See, I'm probably not hip enough yet. I don't, and see, that's why it's great to have you here <laughs> um, because you'll make me hip. Um, I should be following, because um, I have a Twitter account, uh -huh. personal, and now I'm going to be running right. the bureaus. Uh, I should be following restaurants, right? Absolutely, particularly uh, in your business because uh -huh. uh, all the restaurant tours if they're sharp, will have their Twitter account and Facebook. And often that's the way they are marketing themselves and getting coupons out and specials. That's the thing. I mm -hmm. One of the things that I've noticed, unless, um, especially for Facebook, uh -huh. unless they're going to give me something, uh -huh. I don't really want to friend them. I mean, I know that sounds mean, <laughs> but that's actually the consensus among like 98% yeah. of the population right. that social media experts have have um, interviewed, we, we want to get something from I that. I wouldn't be surprised by what uh, the savvy people on Facebook would be looking to the Better Business Bureau on social media to find out about a restaurant they might be going to. Uh, you know, that's actually an area we want to build. We mm -hmm. have, at one point, we had a section called Culinary Colorado, oh, right. where we, we featured restaurants. And, and something I think we didn't pursue too much, but mm -hmm. now we realize especially these days in this economy, I want to know more about the restaurant. I'm not yes. willing to wing it like right. I used to be. Well, this is one of the trends. We were talking okay. about trends yes. in the industry, in the restaurant industry. For sure, people are very cog cognizant and careful about what they are eating in general. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to a restaurant, they are, they are actually looking at health inspection records. Really? Oh, yeah. That's so interesting. Well, it's all part of what I would call hyper-healthy mm -hmm. uh, trend, and that breaks off into several other little areas. And a lot of it has to do with food safety, and you know about the outbreak with uh, listeria, listeria and, the, and all of that. Yes. Well, because of that, not only are people careful about where they are getting their food, mm -hmm. but they want to know where the chefs are getting food and right. how it, how it's being prepared. Right. And isn't there a big movement to do it locally, to eat oh, locally? Hi, That's oh, my goodness, yes. I mean, it, those trends start on the east and west coast. Uh -huh. And, oh, probably 15 years ago, they were starting people... Chefs were starting to have their own gardens. Right, I remember that in New York City. They exactly. had their own gardens. I was and like, the same, oh, she, she. The same in uh, LA. in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. San Francisco. And I have to give a little shout out about one of the chefs that was here, oh, uh, six or so, seven years ago, uh, John Broining, who was the executive chef at Primitivo's. He came from the San Francisco area, very famous restaurant stars, and uh, he brought in this idea with several other chefs in the, in the area, but he for sure was huge on going to the farmer's market, going growing their own food. Okay. Um, they planted a garden where they would go and get their own food. And I did a story about him where we went to the farmer's market mm -hmm. with a group of people. We picked out the food that mm -hmm. he thought was the correct, seasonal, freshest, best thing you could buy. And then we went back to the restaurant kitchen and cooked it and made a deal, a Have, meal. Uh huh. And I bet it, it was delicious. It was very good. We had a lot of fun. Yes. But that's the beginning of in Colorado Springs. Of what, the what's tip, going on? Tip right. of the iceberg. Okay. And to learn more, I guess we can read in your column in the Gazette every week. Oh yes, absolutely. All well, right. There's several that, places you can read my food section okay. or my column on food or table talk. Okay. Well, I can tell you're a real foodie because you're very <laughs> excited about this topic. Yes. Teresa, thank you so much for being here. It's well, great. Happy to be here. And you've made me hungry. Oh, good. <laughs>